Hi, I'm Mark from Napoleon, and I'm here today to talk to you about our Mirage series. This is our largest grill in the Mirage series. It is our M730, and as you can see, it is a big grill. Um, so we'll start off uh, with just going through some of the features. If you pick up our lid, you can feel it is, it is heavy. There's a lot of weight to this grill. Um, and when you look at it from the inside, you can see it's a beautiful stainless steel grill. So what we have here is a stainless steel 304 lid, and it is double lined. So what the double lining actually does is it keeps the heat inside the grill. Not too much heat is gonna be penetrating through that. So for two reasons, that's good. You're not gonna spend as much money on your, on your propane or natural gas because it stays, your heat is staying there. You're not gonna have to constantly warm it up. And also, the stainless steel on the outside of the grill will stay nice and shiny. It's not gonna change colors. It's not gonna discolor, anything like that. So it is a nice looking grill and it's gonna stay like that. Now what we have on our end caps here are cast aluminum um, end caps. And what they're good for is it adds obviously a little bit more weight to the grill, but it gives that rigidity. So when you pick it up, you can tell that it's not gonna bend, it's not gonna twist, it's a solid grill. And it gives that good balance, that good weight, um, which is great. One other thing that we have with this grill is it's actually a roll top lid. So when you roll it up, it's actually hinging not right from the back. It's not one of those grills where it just opens right up and there goes all your heat. So we have this inside hood right here that actually keeps your heat in. Not uh, all that space is just gonna go, you know, all your heat gonna go nowhere. It's staying where it's supposed to. And when you have this roll top lid, if you look behind it, you can actually see, you can put your grill closer. Uh, if, if you have limited space, you can put it closer to your wall. You can put it closer to the railing on your deck. So you, if you have limited space, you can still get a big grill and you can still you know, make people jealous of how big your grill is, really. One other thing I do want to mention about, the, uh, about this grill is the AccuProbe gauge that we have here. This is a very important part of your grill because it's going to give you the accurate temperature what, to what is inside your grill. When you are cooking specific foods that need those you know, temperatures, if you're going to bake a cake or you're doing your pulled pork or you're doing your ribs and you need it to be at 400 degrees, when it says 400 degrees, that's what it is. And very, very, very important for someone who is cooking some of the more delicate or challenging foods. From there, we're gonna open up our grill and you can actually see how much stainless steel is in this grill. So we pick up our grids, solid 304 stainless steel grids, not coated, it's actually solid. And you can see that it has the patented Napoleon wave grid look to it. This is, anytime you see a Napoleon grill, it has this stainless steel wave, and we do that for a few different reasons. When you put your food down on it, more meat is actually touching your grid, so it's gonna sear faster, and that's what you want. When you want those sear marks, it's desirable for a few reasons. It looks cool, but it's also conventional because it's searing, the, it's searing those juices in. It's closing the pores, and it's keeping your steak or pork tenderloin or pork chops juicier. Now, what we have in this specific model is we have four stainless steel tube burners, and then one infrared burner. This is the burner that you're gonna be using for cooking and searing your steaks, pork chops, and some of your more delicate foods that you wanna get just right. Now what is great about the Napoleon infrared system here is that we actually can get our grill up to 1500 degrees in about 45 seconds. Now that is what some of the top steakhouses use. They use overbroilers, and they use that intense heat, which is really, really important when you wanna sear your food. So, when you, put, when you put down your steak on here, say maybe a minute on one side, you put a minute on the other side, and then I generally do a little crisscross, so I do another minute and minute, and then I move it over to my regular burners. So that sears in those juices, that gives that defined marks, and you're gonna get a juicier, more delicious steak. So now our standard burners that we have here are 304 stainless steel commercial grade burners. Now these are great for really anything, if you're gonna be cooking hot dogs, hamburgers, if you're gonna try something a little bit different, this is where you're gonna be doing a majority of your cooking. The infrared burner is for when you're doing a little bit more of your searing or smaller foods. So this is, uh, this is a great surface area you see. This is for someone who wants to entertain, someone who wants to be feeding a large family or bringing over lots of friends for a party. So you've got enough space to cook a lot of food. So you can see how big that is. Now what we have in the back here is our infrared rotisserie burner. So what you do is, uh, say, uh, if you're gonna be doing a rotisserie chicken or roast or turkey or something like that, you take out your warming rack, you put in your rotisserie uh, system, and then you put your chicken on. So this one you could probably put two chickens on or you can put a big turkey on and you're gonna turn it on. 
a roaster chicken I generally put on for about 45 minutes to an hour, which is perfect for this, uh, for this size. It gets up to temperature, you cook it all the way through and it stays juicy. Now because you're not using any of the burners below, you can actually put a pan to catch the drippings, the juices. Say if you're doing a roast, you can use those to make a, a gravy or an au jus sauce or something like that. So you can actually use it and you're not just getting rid of all those juices. Now from there we have our warming rack. The warming rack is a little bit different and, there, and it's not just for warming your buns and your toast and all those kind of things. You can actually do a few different things. I've talked about in the past about doing uh, say some chicken legs or you can try chicken wings or you can try something a little bit different. You can actually cook on it. You, it takes a little bit longer but you don't have to turn it. it, it they come out really really tender and it, I would really recommend trying it sometime. So from there we move over to our side shelves. Now what you can see about our side shelves, they have a nice condiment tray, it wraps all the way around the back. This is a nice heavy duty plastic, it's heat resistant, so you can put down anything that you want on here. Generally this is where I'll put my sauces or my spices or my drink or something like that. So it's nice. Then over right on the back here, there's actually two uh, hooks for, for your tool set or your brush. So you can hang them there, there's also two on the other side as well. Now with this unit, we have a standard range side burner. So this range side burner is where you're gonna be doing your, you know, boiling some water or sauteing mushrooms or vegetables or something like that. So this is just a standard side burner for, for some of those smaller foods that you still wanna eat. And then on the other side, we actually have a bamboo cutting board. Now this bamboo cutting board is, I mean, perfect. If you forget to cut something and you're out here all ready to go, you can chop it up really quickly, it's there. Um, the other thing that we have is an ice bucket. Now this is great for the person who wants to entertain. The entertainer wants to be able to keep everyone outside, keep them around your grill, so this is where you can put your ice, put maybe some of your, let's say your refreshments or some of your sauces. So it's, a, it's just a nice little addition. And again, you have, your war, you, you have the, uh, the wraparound side shelf as well on here, so you can put a little bit more drinks or sauces if you, ha if you need it. Now from here, we're going to take a look at our control panel. Now this is a nice big control panel um, and you've got, obviously you've got seven knobs here. So now you've got your four burners and what's really nice about these is that it's our jet fire ignition. So when you turn it and you want to light it, it lights. You don't have to push an igniter, you don't have to do anything like that. You just go like that and it lights every time. So it's great for, for all the different things. If you, got, if you want to light all your burners, it's as simple as that and they're going. Now from there, again, if you are the entertainer, you wanna have the eye glow. The eye glow is a nice blue color that you have behind, and then when you actually turn it on, you can see that it gets bright, and when you turn it down, it dims a little bit. So it's a nice little feature, something that you don't need, but you know what, it's really cool, it gets people excited, not all grills have. So now we'll take a look at the bottom cabinet. You can see that we've got lots of room here if you've got wood chips and your brushes and lots of tool sets and there's lots of room for anything that you're going to need. And alongside we've got two drawers as well so if you've got sauces, spices, there's lots of room for anything that, uh, that you're going to need for your barbecue. So this is our Mirage series. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.